the next part of the equation then was how you captured this in, in the studio. Sure. And uh, we have three microphones. And the, the microphones are set up. There's three microphones in each cabinet. Yeah. And they're the same ones, same type of ones that were used in your studio. Right. So there's a Mojave MA301, which is a condenser microphone. Yep. And that's and, probably, probably the main part of the sound right? coming from that. Right. Yep. And then a Royer R121, which is a ribbon microphone. Yep. And the ribbon hears the way your ear hears. And tends to have a nice full bottom end, lower mid range. Absolutely. Too. Yeah, right. that'll give that kind of girth to the bottom. Right. Yeah. And then finally, there's a Shure SM7B, which most people think of as the, the Michael Jackson vocal mic from, ah, uh, from Thriller, right? Gotcha. That's, that's yeah. what you use for that or for, yeah. you know, but it, it works great on this too because yeah. it's basically like a slightly beefed up SM57. Yeah. And I think it adds like, um, it, it's, it's a bit of clarity and teeth, you know, so it, I think it helps to make the sound more 3D for sure. So behind John, we have the microphone preamps, and what was happening is the six microphones were feeding into six Rupert Neve Designs Shelford channels. Now, the Shelford channels have transformers input and output. They have a microphone preamp and also built-in EQ and compression, so it's an entire recording right. strip right in one, one unit. So you've got six of those very high-end uh, uh, preamps that you were, yeah. you were applying. Yeah, you know, we again, the people at Rupert Neve Designs are really, really generous in lending some uh, gear to us, and we purchased a bunch of stuff, but, you know, by the, we, we needed a lot of channels to record our band, and, uh, you know, we're so grateful for that. And, you know, the fact that um, you have all that versatility in that one you know, like you said, it's like a complete channel strip, basically. Right, yeah, you tweak everything yeah. right there. Yeah, it's amazing. So the, the microphones were then coming into a Phoenix Audio Nicerizer, which is a summing mixer. So that brings all those together so you can right. record those all at once. Right. So they weren't going to separate tracks then. No. They were being yeah, pre-mixed. So, right. So once we kind of got the sound that we settled on, that we liked, that's what went down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All so right. you make some decisions. There you go. Be a man about Commit. it. Commit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the output from the Nicerizer was going into a JDK R24, which is a stereo parametric EQ, just for talking to Jimmy T, just a little bit of final tweaking right. just to kind of tweeze it into shape. Yeah, at the, very, at the very end. Exactly. So the opportunity we have here tonight for you guys is we have this set up so that we can record all these microphones separately so we can hear what each one of those sounds like, and then you can hear the composite sound that John had for the album. We were listening to this earlier, and it's, yeah. it's, it's kind, of, kind of thrilling. It's pretty incredible. Well, again, like I, I can't believe that the, these guys actually did this. <laughs> you know, recreated all this the, this exact setup that we had in the studio. It's pretty amazing. I'm very blown away by by the fact that you guys did that. So the one thing we didn't yeah. uh, dis- discuss and that we're not actually using tonight is yeah. the, the room microphone is a Rupert Neve Designs RNT, oh, right. which is an active ribbon microphone. We've got one on the stand over here, but that was placed about 16 feet back. Yeah. So basically, like I said, that room that we were in had a lot of character. You know, while we were recording there at the studio, um, you know, we'd look outside and see deer and badgers. And one, one night, some bears came up to the studio, which was interesting. <laughs> um, you know, so th- there was personality in that room. So that room, you know, even just for the, uh, the spirit of it, you know, we like ever so slightly snuck it into the guitar sound. It just like... You'd be surprised that a little bit of character that that adds actually makes it sound that much, I don't know, alive. It's just really cool. I'm not a fan of like a, an echoey, washy guitar sound unless you're going for some special effect. I like guitar to be like really in your face, like you're sticking your head in the cabinet. Um, so I'm not, we'd never use room mics. So this is the first time that we used one and we just barely snuck it in and, it, you know, it, it's a cool sound. Right. Yeah. So let's uh, let's record a little bit of you playing. Sure. And then we'll listen back to some of these microphones. You guys set back there? I can't see them, so. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll play a little bit of uh, the album's opening track, the main riff, which is Untethered Angel, because that has kind of like a heavy lower part. Let me make sure I'm in tune here. Yeah. This is all on one string, so I just need to tune one string. Um, <laughs> <laughs> One other thing that's worth mentioning. So I was saying before that the way the studio was laid out, uh, it's a big giant barn. We're in the main room, and the control room is upstairs. So all of our gear was still on the floor, but I was tracking in the control room upstairs. Um, there wasn't really a way to run a guitar cable down there. So um, we use these boogie clear link boxes. Um, to send uh, an unbalanced signal down and convert it, uh, or, you know, to the right um, impedance right. to go into the front of the amp and then come back up. So it's really, really a cool way to do that. 
Um, and it worked perfectly. Right. Otherwise, you run a long cable, you lose highs, you lose signal. Exactly. Yeah. So those clear, clear link boxes worked perfectly. Awesome. Yeah, that was cool. All right. So let's see. The untethered angel. How's it go again? Okay. <laughs> All right. We recording? All right. Hold on. Tuner. <laughs> Okay, so, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> One string. One string. <laughs> One string licks. Those are the best ones. So all the other ones break, you're still good. <laughs> <laughs> Always got the one. Yeah. So let's listen to the, the condenser microphone, the MA301, which was the bulk of the, yeah. the, the body of the signal. Right, exactly. Let's listen to that one by itself. <laughs> Awesome. All right. That sounds Already beefy. sounds good, right? That so could now be let, it right there. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> a lot of times that's what people would go with, right, right. Is, is that. Yeah. But we have the option, or you had the option, yeah. then of mixing in other microphones. So let's yeah. listen to just the Shure SM7B, which is a dynamic microphone. <laughs> Awesome. You can hear how different that sounds, right? Yeah. There's that upper mid-range kind right. of a bite to it, it not does. quite as much bottom end. And even that's, that, that sounds great on its own as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now the Royal Ribbon microphone. <laughs> A lot of bottom end. Yeah, there. a lot of bottom end. You can hear what kind of role that's going to play. That's going to fill in, you know, right. the low stuff, especially like on this record. So this guitar is tuned down to C. There's a bunch of seven string stuff. There's baritone stuff. You want like that that weight of the guitar to be captured. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So now we'll play the MA301 and we'll add the other two microphones in so you can hear the, the final composite result. If yeah. you so let's start with the MA301 again. <laughs> Now add the 7B, the SM7B. So you can really hear how that's filling in that upper mid-range. Absolutely, yeah. That, it, right. it totally, it's like, uh, you know, it, it almost sounds like you uh, did something with the EQ, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of bring something out, but it's like, the, I think it's adding some girth as well. Right. Yeah. Now we'll bring in the Royer, so we'll have all three microphones together. Yeah, that's it. That's a big sound. That's a big sound. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so very cool. Nicely really done, cool. guys. Yeah, they, I, and they, they did a lot of work to get those microphones set yeah. in the same places. They worked off photographs to get everything all placed. That's great. I mean, that, that, that's killer. Right there, that, that's an album guitar sound, you know. And, and what we did is, like, we dialed that in, and then that was the sound. So then you just go from song to song, basically. Right. You know, once you got that down, you're all set. Right. Yeah. So cool. That's great. Very cool.